Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a barbecue rub that is just really yummy. I found it online years and years ago and I've always used it for my steaks and for my hamburgers and it's just like so easy to make. It's only four ingredients as you can see. There's the kosher salt, the paprika, ground pepper, and dark brown um, sugar. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've measured out my ingredients. I have a quarter cup of the kosher salt. I have a quarter cup of the paprika, two tablespoons of the ground pepper, and a quarter cup of the dark brown sugar. So you can see how easy this is. I've got my ingredients. I'm just gonna go ahead and start pouring everything in. Doesn't matter what order. I'm gonna put my salt in, my paprika in. Let's get all of that. Um, my ground pepper and my brown sugar, all right? And then I'm simply just going to mix it all up. You can see, mix this up really easy. This, like I said, this is a super, super yummy rub. I just sprinkle it on my um, meats and then um, it's really yummy. Okay, so once my rub is all mixed up, I need to put it in a jar so that I can store it and it will last longer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop it all in there. And now, this rub is so yummy that it actually would make a really, really nice um, gift. So especially during Christmas time when you have a thousand people to get gifts for, you know, a coworker, um, just neighbors, people like that where you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money, but you want to just tell them how much you appreciate them. Um, this is just a perfect gift for that. So, I mean, and you think of rubs as kind of being something that you use during the summer, but I use it year round because it's so yummy. And you can see this fits perfectly. So I'm just gonna pack that up and it's ready to go. So I wanted to give you the full effect on how wonderful this rub is. So I've pulled out some steaks and some hamburger patties. If you've never tried these Black Angus beef burgers, the Sam's Choice from Walmart, they're delicious. So I just wanted to share that with you. And then steaks I usually buy um, at Albertsons or Safeway where they have a really great deal. Then I freeze them up and pull them out when I'm ready to use them. So anyways, I've got meat on hand and I just kind of sprinkle, um, depending on how much I want, how much you want, just kind of sprinkle it on there. And then of course normally I would have this in the pan. And then sometimes I'll just kind of press it in. Um, and then as I'm cooking it, after this other side cooks, then I'll go ahead and turn it over and do the same thing to the other side. Same thing with the hamburgers, I just kind of put them on. Now, you might want to just not put as much to begin with, but I really love it, so I put quite a bit and then just kind of press it down. So, you can see it's really easy to use, really easy to make, and I'm telling you, it's super yummy. So, thanks for watching this video today. I hope you find this helpful, and until next time.